All right, what's on the bench today? It's a Bell & Howell Schools uh, multimeter. So Bell & Howell, I guess, had a, um, I don't know if it was a correspondence course or something, or they had a curriculum that went to certain uh, you know, schools. I, I don't know. I, don't, I would imagine this might be part of a, a, a homeschool type of thing. So uh, these were actually built by Heathkit. Um, and on the back, you can see that uh, there is a Heath sticker on the back. So this is a model IMD202-2. Um, and uh, I thought it'd be fun because of the display. But before we oh, turn it on, listen to this. Yeah, there's, there's something, something rattling around inside. So let's open it up first before we plug it in. Uh. Oh, those are real short little guys. I guess I could just use a regular screwdriver. Oh, well. This is overkill. Oops, overkill for the job. It's got a modern uh, plug on it, a three wire plug. So I'm not sure what vintage these things are, but I would imagine three wires was probably pretty rare back in the day. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what year these came out. They might be, they might be 1980s. So I guess three prong is not too unusual then. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It's got crinkle paint uh, finish, which I always like. Okay, let's uh, take the top off. Oh, look at that big board. Wow. Uh, let me put this on the somewhere where I won't, where I won't lose it. All right. Um, yeah, big board. Um, everything's on sockets and uh, nicer sockets than generally come with Heath kits. Um, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Now this, <laughs> the display, you're going to crack up on this display. All right. So let's take a look at, at the display here. We'll, I'll let me rearrange the camera here. I'll get a little closer. <laughs> so here's the display. Two Nixies and then... Uh, two neons, which are super long post neons. So this neon acts as a one. <laughs> so yeah, so two digits and a one, and then an overload condition with this one light being a backlight. So this one is ended up being a display. This one's ends up being a backlight. Uh, Ampex Nixie tubes. That's pretty cool. Those are old. Uh, let's see if I can see any date codes on these parts. 1973? Yeah, 1973. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything past 1973. Yeah, let's look inside this thing. So a selector switch here for, you know, volts and amps and stuff like that. Protected with a fuse. The amps is protected with the fuse. Um, we have some uh, 70, oh, they're not, they're funny parts. This one is a 7402. So this one says it's a 9NO2 slash 7402. So 9NO2 was Fairchild's numbering system before the 74 came out. Um, yeah, so these are, this is a 7441, 7441. And these guys don't have the equivalent uh, markings on them, but I'm assuming they're just uh, decade counters. Uh, so these are probably like uh, BCD counters. Uh, there's a there's a really fun heat sink on the uh, on the transistor here. It looks like a it's just floating up in the breeze. It's just a little flag of <laughs> flag of aluminum. Oh, let's see if we can. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Uh, there is a, a random screw in there. I wonder where he came from. A random screw. Probably, yes. The uh, transformer has a screw that holds him in. And it's probably, uh, yeah, that's where he goes. Oops. Dropped him almost into the hole. That was all serendipitous. 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 All right. Serendipity. 
guess serendipitous is the uh, right tense of uh, the adjective of serendipity. I don't know. I don't know all that stuff. I was a physics major. Don't ask me about that stuff. Oh man. Yeah, this one's going to be tough. Let me. Uh, I need 16 hands to hold things correctly. Let's see here. Let's hold him. And I can bend things out of the way. There we go. Ah, perfect. Okay. You didn't see a thing, did you? <laughs> Sorry, I zoomed in. Um, I just put that screw in, which, which is where it was missing from. And I'll tighten this one, which is loose also. There we go. So yeah, that screw held in the transformer and it was just kind of rattling around in there. So that's back. There's fish paper over the, uh, over the transformer. I love fish paper. Um, oh, wait a minute. Anything else in there? I hear something else. Well, oh, there's something. <laughs> this thing flew out. Uh oh. I don't know where he goes. Obviously, we don't need him because <laughs> everything seems pretty firm now. I don't know. I'm not sure what that what that is. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't want to pull this board out. Unless we have to. We might have to to fix this thing. I don't know if it works. Might work. Uh. Not a good idea having a screw floating around in there, though. All right, what do you say? Uh, there's only one, one capacitor that might be funny, but that shouldn't, oh, here's another one here too. Two capacitors, everything else looks fine. I say we turn it on. Live dangerously, I always say. Maybe I'll break it and then we can fix it, see? There you go. Ah. All right. Um, lots of adjustments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine adjustments. Wow, that's a lot for a, <laughs> a two-digit, a two-digit full meter. <laughs> two and a half digits. Okay. Oh man, have you, seen, have you ever seen a two and a half digit voltmeter? Well, you have now. Oh man. Oh, these are marked. AC test point adjust. Zero adjust, DC cal, 200, 2000, 20K, 200K, two meg, and then an AC cal. So yeah, all right. Pretty standard calibration stuff. But I say we uh, we try this thing out. Let's see, what's first DC volts? DC, oh, and the knobs don't really point to the thing you're trying to do. So one, two, oh, this is the off position. Okay. so. Plug it in in the off position and then uh, try it out. Maybe there'll be magic smoke inside from 1973. Although, I don't know, this one kind of looks like it's 1981, so I don't know. All right. Should be able to see the LED, the uh, Nixie tubes and the magic smoke at the same time. Uh, click. Oh, they worked. They counted. They did something strange. Did you see that? You got to see that. This is kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. Turn it on. Ooh, look at that. Counted. That's not a bad one. <laughs> what if that's a special special one that uh, is supposed to have been used. Well, let's put in some voltage. Maybe this thing works. Let's see here. We are on, well, that's DC milliamps. This is DC volts. And here is the connector for common and volts. Let me get some wires. Uh-oh. 
What happened? Something happened. Hmm. I don't know. Something funny happened when I pulled this wire across. And I don't know what's going on. Anyway, excitement for the day. Let's put in 5 volts. 5.15. Uh, it says five point. Can you read that? No, you can't read that. It's too low. Where's my block of foam? Look at that. 5.7. Let's uh, ramp it up. Does it ramp up? It does ramp up. 6.4. And what's coming in is 5.7. So we should be able to calibrate it. But it looks like it works. That's pretty cool. Does it, does it spill over to one? Yes. It works. Oh, that's way cool. Two and a half digit voltmeter. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh, let's see if we can get it to over, to over thing. Uh, should over at uh, three volts, right? Or 30 volts. Oh yeah, this is, this says it thinks it's 19 volts. Oh, there we go. Yeah, over, it's hard to read. <laughs> I think I need to pull that, uh, Pull that Nixie over closer to the uh, to the over thing there. But yeah, very cool. I like it. Awesome. <laughs> oh well. Um, so I think I will shoot a video tomorrow of me calibrating it um, and get this thing up and working again. I think it's a hoot that it's a two and a half digit. <laughs> Oh, let's see if the ranging works. Yeah, ranging works fine. Uh, let's see, this is... That one doesn't... See, this is two... This is two volts per full scale. So let's move the voltage down. It's 1.4, 1.59. Okay, well, def definitely needs calibration. Um, zero, zero DC cal... I, you know, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna reach in there. <laughs> Uh, we are inputting 1.44, and I'm just going to grab the DC Kelly yank on it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 1.4. I know that's not the way you're supposed to calibrate. 1.4. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go back to the 20-volt range, and we'll go up to uh, some high voltage here. Uh, 7.56, 7.5. Hey, I've calibrated it. <laughs> uh, I'm putting in 1. Point, I mean, 10.6. 10.6, it's calibrated, done, pack it up, ship it. <laughs> All right, uh, like I said, I'll calibrate it tomorrow. I'll see if I can find a data sheet for this thing. I'm not sure about this particular model, but I mean, it should be self-evident. We we'll probably don't even need a service manual to calibrate this thing, but we'll give it a try. Maximum one kilovolt, 700 volts AC. Uh, yeah, Bell & Howe School's digital multimeter. <laughs>